Hey everyone, so I've been asked to do a video on how to do well in the surgery rotation. And so please keep in mind that I have not taken my shelf exam yet. So all the advice that I'm going to be giving you is pre-shelf exam. And then I'll give you an update here in about five weeks after my shelf exam and let you know how that goes. Alright, so stick around and here's some of my advice. Okay, so before I give you guys some tips, first I just want to tell you guys, anything you have ever, ever, ever heard about surgery, the horror stories, how hard it is, how it's impossible to get sleep and eat and do all these things, I want you to rid that from your mind right now. Okay, I have loved surgery. I've loved everything about it. And yes, it's hard. And yes, you do not have much time. But it is an amazing rotation. And I hope you guys find, find it just as great as I have. If you go into it saying, I'm going to make the most of this opportunity, I don't care how hard any of my attendings are on me. I don't care how hard any of the surgeons are on me. I'm going to attack this rotation with everything I have. I'm going to make it the best rotation out of any of them. The hardest rotation will become my cornerstone to making all the other rotations just as incredible. So attack this hardest rotation with everything you have and make it an amazing rotation just as I have. I've loved surgery and I hope you do as well. All right, so to start with, we just want to talk about some books. So this is just very basic stuff. The first book that I'm going to recommend is Pistana's, or Dr. Pistana's Surgery Notes. Okay, so this book is going to be pretty much your Bible for the shelf, I believe. And what this book is, is it just kind of goes throughout all, of di all the different types of surgeries and tells you what you need to know. It's a very easy read. and has about 150 questions at the end of the book, I believe. Okay, next up, I do not have it with me right now, but it's Surgical Recall. In Surgical Recall, this book is going to be great for the pimping that goes on during the surgeries. So within each and every surgery, there will be a surgeon in there with you that will probably be pimping you or asking you a lot of questions about the surgery, the anatomy, the physiology. And Surgical Recall kind of helps you be a master at each surgery to make sure you don't look like a fool in front of those surgeons. Okay, So to impress the surgeons, make sure you study up on Surgical Recall before your surgeries. The next book, and this isn't a must, but I do recommend it, it's Case Files. So Case Files is a great book because it'll give you a certain case and then walk you through it. So it tells you the presentation, the ideology, how to manage it. And within surgery, management is a huge deal. Okay, So Case Files is another good one to read up on. If you just do a case a day, you'd be able to finish the book probably twice by the time your surgery rotation was done with. The next book, and this isn't a requirement, but whatever book you want to study for step two, I recommend that you get that book now and just utilize it throughout your rotation. So mine would be the USMLE Master the Boards book. I've read the surgery section in it twice so far. I'll probably read it one more time before my exam. And that's pretty much all the books that I use, okay? But this book here, Pistana's Dr. Uh, Pistana Surgery Notes. This is the main one that you really need to know cold for your shelf exam and then utilize UWorld. Okay, and these are things that this book here, it'll fit in the back pocket of your scrubs, so you can always have it with you. So if you have 10 or 15 minutes here and there, you can always pull it out and read it. And if you have an iPad, which I use the iPad mini, you can always pull that out and be doing UWorld questions. Okay, surgery is very intense and very time consuming. And so all these few minutes here and there that you could be studying, it's very important to utilize those times. Okay, so those are the books you need. So order them on Amazon, half.com, that's where I bought mine, crazy cheap and you should be ready to go in that regard. The next topic. This is something that intimidates a lot of people, but it's probably my favorite part, one of my favorite parts, and I just love it. It's how to do well on rounds. So every morning at about five o'clock, we get to the hospital, and we do pre-rounds, so we go figure out all the information we can on our patients. Okay, and then at six o'clock, we do rounds with our residents, and on these rounds, you have to give the presentation about your patient to your resident. So the things that you need to do well for this is one, be prepared. Make sure to know your patient cold. Know everything about them so that if they do ask it, you'll be ready for that. Okay, so knowing your patient well will go a really long ways. And the next is how to give a presentation of your patient. See, in surgery, they do not care about absolutely everything. They want the pertinent positives and just the pertinence of your patient. Medical students love mnemonics, so the mnemonic I use to make sure I have everything covered in my presentation is APO VIP LAP. So A P O V I P L A P. Okay, so what that means is A would be appearance. 
And this is just kind of a general generalization about your patient. So it's a 56 year old African American male that presents with blah, 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 the chief complaint. Okay. And why you're seeing them. The P would be post-op. So post-op day what? Uh, post-operation day three. Okay. And then the O would be overnight events. Were there any acute overnight events that you need to mention? Did they have to give them packed red blood cells? Did they need a uh, pain medicine overnight? So anything that happened overnight, you need to include that there. Next, we're starting the VIP part of the mnemonic V, the vital signs. So you'll list off all the vital signs. Next would be I, ins and outs. This is very important in surgery. So you need to know the urine output. Do they have an NG tube? Do they have a Jackson Pratt? All those things would go in that section. And then the P part would be the physical exam. So then you'll give out your physical exam and you're not gonna tell them everything you did, just what's pertinent to the operation that they had. Okay, and just a side note really quick is that every resident will probably have a different way that they like it, but this is just a basic outline to help you not miss anything, and then you can adjust this to what your residents like. Next is labs. All right, and so then you'll just list off all the labs, and some residents won't make you list all of them. They might just have you list the ones that may be out of whack or that needs mentioning or the ones that you're kind of uh, trailing or observing throughout the last couple days. Okay, and then next would be an assessment and then your plan for that patient. And with this, let this be your plan. Make this be your patient and you come up with a plan for them and then they'll tell you, well, tell me, maybe you should have went this route. I didn't really agree with your plan here. This, I think this would be a better option. Don't just read through the notes and get whatever plan a different doctor has down. Let this be your plan for your patient. All right, and if you follow this system, APO VIP LAP, you should have a very good presentation for your residents and be able to change this to how you want. And also in a link below, I'll have kind of a study guide to go through all this with you guys and teach you how to lay all of it out. One other thing really quick about doing well in rounds is make sure to be prepared in the sense of having things in your pocket, pockets of your white coat, to make sure you're ready to do dressing changes and to do different things on the patients that Will, that you'll have to do every day. So just make sure to have tape, some ABDs, some 4x4s, different things that you'll learn about at your hospital and the supplies your hospital uses. And just have those ready so that when you get to a certain room, you're just ready to go and the residents will be very, very thankful that you are ready to get dressing changes done and move on to the next patient. So just be prepared. So the next part is how to do well in the OR. This is very important and freaks a lot of students out because it has to be sterile, you can't mess up. All right, so the very first thing is make good relations with the nurses. Make sure to know them all by name. Treat them with love, kindness, and respect because believe me, they they know far more than you do and probably more than you will for a very long time. So become good friends with them and allow them to help you through this. Okay, so the second part would be confident. Don't go in there and be hesitant. Act like you know what you're doing, and if you don't, Fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> just kidding. Don't mess up. But just have confidence. And if you mess up, you know, apologize. It's not that big of a deal. And then next, be prepared. Make sure you've read up on the case. Make sure you know what you're doing. And be in tuned in the operation, okay? So if the surgeon's using a, a bovi, make sure you have the suction ready to either sm uh, suck up the smoke from the bovi or the blood. Or have scissors ready when he has a needle. If he's suturing, you should have scissors ready to cut the thread. Make sure you're always engaged and paying attention. And something also that I'd like to add is do not be afraid to ask to do things. Okay, the worst that could happen is they tell you no. Anytime I'm in the OR, I ask if I could do everything. Okay, I just want to make sure that I get as much experience as I can out of this. And you should do the same. This was a very, very short overview of just some main topics that I've done to do, hopefully do well in my surgery rotation. Now, if you read Surgical Recall, it'll give you much more detail about how to do well in surgery. So I do recommend reading the first few chapters of Surgical Recall, and it'll touch on all this stuff and more and do a much better job at it. But I just wanted to share with you my perspective so far. And then just some final words, get ready. Everyone talks about how serious and how intense of a rotation this is, but it's been incredible. I love it so much. You do not have much time for much, many other things that you say that you'd like to do. The days are very long. They can be very stressful, but make the most out of it. You know, wake up in the morning just ready to go to that hospital and to love every single person that's in there. Wake up ready to study in the times that you don't have time to. Wake up ready to just push and push and push until you can't anymore where you feel so dog tired that you're ready to give up 
be ready to push a little bit further. Not for this rotation, but for your future patients, as I always say. I hope you guys enjoy the surgery rotation as much as I have. It is going to be hard. It is going to be time consuming. But if you make the most of it, it can be some of the best weeks you've had. I know I've loved the surgery rotation so much. And I'm here for you guys. If you need anything, I'll be in prayer for you. If you have any other questions that maybe I didn't touch on, please let me know. I love you all so much, and I hope you enjoy the surgery rotation as much as I have.